You can use 3D models in your FireMonkey applications, both in a 3D FireMonkey application and in an HD FireMonkey application that has a viewport 3D. We've got wizards to get you started and information on the doc wiki on how to build 3D applications, as well as background information about everything that's associated with building 3D applications in FireMonkey. There's also a tutorial about importing a 3D model into a FireMonkey application. What I've done is built a sample application. I call it Planet Earth Model Viewer. And inside of it, I've got a camera, a layer with a panel, and the panel gives me these controls for rotating and zooming and moving of the 3D model. I've got a 3D layout. And inside of that, I've put a model 3D component, T-Model 3D, which has a mesh collection that we can use to load a model file. And then when I load that model file, it will interrogate the texture that's associated with the model, and it'll create a T-Light material source with the bitmap of the texture. And we can see the bitmap uh, here for the planet Earth. For this control panel that lets me rotate, I've got event handlers that allow me to use the arc dialer for rotating, the track bar for zooming, and then speed buttons for shifting the model to the right, the left, up and down. So let's look at this model running inside of a 3D application. Here we've got the view of the planet. We can rotate around using the speed buttons. We can use the arc dialer to rotate, and we can use the track bar to zoom in and out. So it's pretty easy to load a model. Just click on the mesh collection, say load, and then the model 3D component supports ASC, DAE, and OBJ files for those 3D formats. You can pick the model. Here's a model, which is a Collada DAE format. And we also have the texture in a separate directory. And then if we want to change the texture, we just go into the T-Lite material source that is associated with the Model 3D and change the bitmap. You can go and load a separate bitmap. I've got one here. Fit it and then recompile and run. And here for the 31st video in 31 days of October, we've got the jack-o'-lantern. That's pretty scary. Uh, on top of the earth. So once you've got a model, you can apply whatever textures you want to it. And again, we can uh, manipulate it just as we would uh, other meshes or other objects. So that's just a quick look at how to import a model and work with textures using the T-Model 3D component. There are many other examples that are available for dealing with meshes and with models in the sample applications that come with RAD Studio XE3.